there's a problem with WhatsApp that you really don't want to experience. You can be using your WhatsApp and someone else can request a code with your phone number. And if they trick you into sending that code to them, they will take over your WhatsApp. You see, you need to watch this video, like it, share with people who are in your household, uh, your uncles, aunties, mom, parents, grandparents, because these are the ones that are always vulnerable to these, you know, scammers uh, that try to trick them into getting their one-time password and taking over their WhatsApp accounts. So let's jump right into it. Welcome back to Smart Depot. Some people can trick you and take over your WhatsApp account and use it to start begging money and ask people. And many occasions, many people have fallen victim of that, that I know personally and that I've heard over the internet. So the question is, how is this even possible? Now, the first thing you have to realize is that your phone number is no longer hidden. A lot of people have your number. You write your number when you go to some hospital, some park, some places, and all that. So, your number is not that hidden. So, somebody can take your number, bring out a new phone or another phone, and then download WhatsApp application and put your number there. And WhatsApp will request for one-time password. It will send it as SMS or in the app to you. And um, if they trick you and call you, oh, there's a problem with your network, there's a Zoom meeting, we need the code sent to you now. If you send it to them, they use that one-time password to log into your WhatsApp on another phone and you'll be logged out from your phone and they will now start sending all those, you know, messages you know for help give me money i'll pay you back and all that for some people who are not tech savvy when they see this thing they panic and, and that is the biggest problem it's not a problem that you saw a whatsapp code has been requested in your phone that's not a problem so when people see this they panic so once they panic what do they start doing they like um starts uninstalling their whatsapp wipe out all their whatsapp reinstall it you know no 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 it's it's not it's no need to panic if you see that someone else is requesting your code for whatsapp just ignore it so you don't need to panic if you panic it gives the hacker all these scammers the opportunity to you know reach out to more people with your contact and also to even add something like two-factor authentication. I mean, they did this to my cousins uh, at WhatsApp when they hacked it, they added two-factor authentication, but I was able to still get it back. And I'm gonna show you more of those tricks in the part two of this video. So you don't wanna miss that. Make sure you subscribe to see that video once I upload it. If you're seeing somebody's trying to log into your account, ignore it and do not send out your one-time password from WhatsApp to anybody because that one-time password will come to either the WhatsApp application or as an SMS to the phone number that you know the WhatsApp account is registered with. Now, many people don't realize this, so uh, people are worried, their mind have a lot of things on it, and they come across where they tell them, okay, um, send me this code. Now, there are two ways WhatsApp can send you one-time password. The very first one is in the app. So WhatsApp now sends it in the app. So you will see it inside your WhatsApp application that someone else is requesting for a code and it will show you the code. If it is not, you ignore it. The second place is as SMS to your phone. So once you start hearing, send me anything. And the SMS now, the good thing is that the SMS comes from WhatsApp. The title comes from WhatsApp. Anytime you see an SMS title from WhatsApp, do not send it to anybody because that is the way they will take over your account. I don't care what they say, whether they Zoom, whether there is a a password that was sent to you, a pickup or something, whatever it is, do not send to anybody any sms one time password this is it is six digits that came with the title in from whatsapp that was sent from whatsapp don't ever do that you have to teach everybody around you your uh, house assistant your chef your cook your mom your grandma your friends your brothers and say you have to teach them that any message that is sent that comes into whatsapp should not be sent to another person. If you do that, you have lost access <laughs> to your WhatsApp account. So this actually is the way to avoid it. So it doesn't matter how many times you see uh, somebody is trying to request access to your WhatsApp, forget about that. Ignore it and keep using your WhatsApp. And then finally, uh, it, this might be difficult for some people who are a little bit aged or who are not tech savvy. WhatsApp now have two factor authentication so you can 
put N2FA in your WhatsApp, but that might not be easy for people who are not um, tech savvy. Or they might forget it and all that, and they will lock that off WhatsApp. But that is another option. So you have to teach it. Go to your settings account, and then you see security two time uh, two factor authentication. It's six uh, digits that you can put as a second. So if somebody managed to get your one time password, they might still have to put that two factor verification before they can fully take over your whatsapp then the third one also is your email so you have to verify your email in whatsapp so that if somebody even takes over your account you can now go in there and then ask them to send a verification code to the email that is verified and then if you get that email you can get your account back now it's important you do this because some of the things that these scammers do is that once they take over your account the next thing they do is that they put in the two-factor authentication and they also put in their email so once they're able to do these two things it becomes a little bit more difficult for you to get your whatsapp but of course there's still a way to get it back and i'll do that in part two so that's another reason you need to like share subscribe and make sure you follow me to get that when i release that video uh, i hope this is helpful for someone out there and make sure you follow me for more interesting tech tips like this until i see you in the next one it is peace to our world